Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on High Wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving the dragon from the fighting ring, for instance? We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidgets lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs>